Republican Congressman Trey Gowdy of South Carolina says he is out, quitting politics, and will not run for re-election this fall. Trey Gowdy is chairman of the powerful House Oversight Committee. He's on the Intelligence Committee, one of the panels investigating <clears throat> excuse me, Russia's election interference. He led the investigation into the attack on the U.S. outpost in Benghazi and Hillary Clinton's role. That investigation led to the discovery that Secretary Clinton used a private email server for official business while Secretary of State, but brought no charges of any kind. Trey Gowdy, a former federal prosecutor, says he plans to return to the justice system. More than 30 House Republicans are returning, or I should say retiring, or running for some other kind of office, including nearly 10 committee chairs. Let's turn to Peter Nichol Nicholas now. He's a White House reporter for the Wall Street Journal, with which this channel shares common ownership. Man, it seems like a lot of this is going on, doesn't it? Yeah, there's something in the water, these rash of retirements from people who have pretty good positions in Congress. Give uh, us the backstory. What's the reel on this? Well, it looks like um, it's going to be a tough year. There are a lot of headwinds for Republicans. It's going to be a tough re-election season. Um, Democrats hope to nationalize this election, make it a referendum on Donald Trump, whose approval ratings are at historic lows for our president in his first year. And it might not just seem as appetizing to remain in Congress at this point. What's the word on Gowdy? Where does he want to go? I keep reading about the Fourth Circuit. What, what are you hearing? Anything? I haven't heard about uh, what his plans are, but it is, it, he, does, he seems pretty disillusioned with politics in his statement. He mentioned that the judicial system looks a lot better than uh, uh, the political system at this point. So I think it does say something about the, uh, the polarization in Congress and the fact that uh, it's just not that rewarding for some powerful incumbents, committee chairs. Well, think, think about, I mean, he was the face of the Benghazi investigation. He was on all day, every day. Yeah. So, and that was an important investigation. I mean, that was hung around Hillary Clinton's neck during the 2016 campaign. And they were able to show that uh, Hillary Clinton was, um, uh, the State Department was not taking security at uh, that uh, outpost in Benghazi all that seriously. So that was very well, important. Well, the cry work. was lock her up. They, they, they didn't get anywhere near that. No, they didn't. And uh, some of the people who were crying lock her up, uh, Michael Flynn, uh, now has uh, some problems of their own, too. So there's the irony. Uh, is there more of this? Historically speaking, these numbers are high, but they're, they, but they're not the highest they've ever been. Of course, it's not over yet. Well, the other thing you have to keep in mind is Trey Gowdy comes from a pretty safe Republican district in South Carolina. So Donald Trump won that seat, district by, uh, with 60 percent of the vote. So it's not so clear Democrats are going to be able to sweep in and retake that seat. But by the same token, for a Democratic challenger, it's a lot more favorable to run an open seat than to face a sitting incumbent. Peter Nicholas is a White House reporter for the Wall Street Journal. Peter, thanks a lot. It's great to see you. Good to see you again, Chef. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America.